Hey there, signs of Libra. This is Kim here to do a reading for you. And this reading is going to be for your next 48 hours. Sorry, I was getting adjusted there. Um, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate that. Appreciate all the support. Let's get into this. I like to connect with Divine White Light, asking your spirit guides and your angels to get us messages for greater good, connecting with Libra. Connecting with Libra energy. Okay, what's the issue for our Libras? We're going to do um, a Celtic cross and then we'll get into some more um, Oracle cards. This, this has been like a common thing. They have been in the reverse, most of the four cups. It's, you know, suggesting that a new start, a fresh start is, is something the person is wanting. Um, the four of cups, though... In this, I, I do feel like it's about turning in, like it says. Um, you know, it, turning inside, cancer energy, um, finding out what's within instead of going without. So going within instead of without. What's the challenge? Libra. Seeing beyond... A illusion at only seeing what's real is, is is a problem so being hopeful and seeing the silver lining is um you would could almost say like it's a talent in a sense it really is um being optimistic uh having hope full of hope page of cups energy here might be um like the news of birth or uh pregnancy um, there is hope, and there is hope for understanding. There's hope for understanding. Hopeful new beginnings. And like I said, the underlying issue, it looks like Maya to me. It's, it's seeing beyond the illusion, seeing beyond the Maya, seeing beyond what we say is real and what is real, real. <laughs> what is real, real. Okay. This is like a whole new world if you can go inside yourself in the, this like hopeful place. They're saying it, it will feel like a whole new world to you. Past energy. Past energy. Two of Wands. Um, there's many other possibilities. If you felt like you couldn't understand and that you were stuck somewhere or if you felt like something was just not hopeful to turn out right in the past, I think we're open to possibilities, different possibilities. Um, you really know where you're going if you have that eagle in your um, in the sky here. It's about your freedom too, the now moment. Aries energy too, possibly. The six of coins in the reverse. Maybe you're giving to charity or maybe you're assisting or helping out with someone that may need like, you know, a leg up for some help. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And, and, and it may be that you're coming out of a period where things weren't so equal and even, um, where people were not wanting to compromise and weren't very understanding but that's changing. That's changing. The near future energy. Near future energy. I have the six of cups. So, and, oh, and I have the ace of wands. Passionate new beginnings in this new energy. Infused with um, God, creator, source. Six of cups here. The dream. You may be feeling soulmate energy. You may be thinking of the past. You may be thinking of good times that you have had and... Um, maybe wish to have again in the future. So there's a little bit of nostalgia with this. There's family roots, ancestral line. <laughs> I have a deck that says your ancestral line is older than earth. And that's what I'm feeling with this too. Like your roots go really far. You have the lay of the land. Ace of Wands, inspiration. Six of Cups, Scorpio season. And it is ending November 21st. So tra change, transformation, mending. 6-6 six, six is, a, is a big, big call. Attention to your thoughts. Keeping them positive as you go through changes. Keeping them positive as you go through changes. 
there's a need to communicate how you feel a little bit better um, with either, well, so it's coming across as the participation in this brand new beginning. So how much you participate, I feel like it's directly related to your ability to, um, you know, understand yourself. So understanding yourself, understanding how your body communicates with you. If you can understand that process, then you can understand how other pe they, people are wanting to create, <laughs> to, um, yeah, to create with you. And, um, this could be about that commitment. It could be about a new house, um, something inspirational. So sometimes this is about uprooting if, if you've got it, you know, almost in the reverse here. So there's a need to open lines of communication. And I would definitely start with like yourself, like your own body first. Um, that's a good starting point. <laughs> in the environment, so I have Aries energy again and Sagittarius. In the environment, we have change coming. I felt change because I was thinking, you know, in numerology, like the number six would also represent all the numbers that come below it too. So thus we have change. This is tra transformation and change coming in. Wheel of Fortune energy, really good, nice energy. Um, I feel like it's, it's spinning you forward. It's time for a change. Hmm. If you're not connected with the soulmate energy, then that might be part of this change. Hmm. There's something that makes me nervous about the change. I don't know what that is. Um, it's coming from, well, okay, this is truly... This is number five for change. And the no thingness is all of the infinite possibilities. There's infinite possibilities that this can be different. So here the, in this darkness, in this darkness, you have so many possibilities. The potential is really high for anything that you desire. Wow. The outcome here, what's the outcome here? Two of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles, a new adventure, new relationships with money. That might be this harmonious relationship because of the um, Page of Pentacles being the pentacle. I do have, like, people are getting a new relationship with money, like the way that they view money. You know, a lot of people believe money is the root of all evil, but we could change that if we can show um, how... Money could be invested in the things that really, really matter to us. Um, conditioning. There's something still about, about feeling like you're part of this flock and not realizing your full potential when I see this conditioning. It will come to you with change like this thunderbolt. It, just ha it can be an averted um, tower if you recognize your power and start going on your journey to your new adventure if you just go ahead and start that I think it's a new partnership with stability security money yeah nine of cups in the reverse because this is going to be like something good following a disappointment yeah, Queen of Pentacles, having life the way you like it, um, being able to have all your luxury items, but also at the same time, letting go of attachments. So there's no need necessarily for, there's no craving for what you have. This is good. This is good. Let's do some more um, cards. Let's do some Oracle cards now. Hmm, what that is, sounds like a... Um, they have those drone planes. Oh, okay. The Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Oracle of Genetic Gifts. For Libra. Okay. That's quite a bit. Aura reader, advisor, photographer, energy reader. Talk radio platform. Talk radio platform. 
Pendulum reader, scrying, rune casting. That's interesting. Telepathy, thought reading, extrasensory perception, ESP. And tarot card reader, healer, teacher, guidance, spiritual knowledge. And tarot deck creator, a visionary. A visionary, not part of the herd. You're not part of the sheep or with the flock. You're meant to do your own thing. You're meant to do your own thing. Maybe it has to do with tarot. Might have to do with talk show. Uh, I'm feeling that YouTube platform also. There's a card that can come out for that. I'm feeling that one too. Whoa. <laughs> Flinging it at myself. Turquoise. A turquoise crystal is the color blue and it's healing magic works on you. And wishing well. To make some wish magic, cast this spell. Throw pennies in the wishing well. Sleep underneath the nighttime skies. Fairies sing you lullabies. Sleep. And then we're going to get some of these. Maybe some of these too. Because it, they're wanting to flip out at me. So we'll get these, these two decks. And um, I'll close out with this, this one. All right. Four Libras. Libras. These are so big. Something about writing. Something about writing. The word wants to be written. Something's wanting to take place. Something's wanting to evolve. New partnerships. This is partnership with spirit and metamorphosis and change. This is also informing and how to inform on um, spiritual matters. 26, relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. So if you're into, you know, if you have any darkness that you feel like has a hold on you, make a point to let go of that and shine in your light. Follow your own rhythm. And it was in there first, so I feel like some of you feel like you're part of these, this flock and you're not. You're five. You follow your own rhythm. You're the change. You're the change. Sacred Fool. Brand new journey. Brand new beginning. Brand new journey. Sacred Fool. Having a beginner's mind. Understanding. It's, it's like a new place. It's like a new place. Broomstick cleansing, so you might want to clean up your act if <laughs> at your place, or maybe, yeah, I mean, that, usually it's it's telling you to do that, so you get in this, like, zen state, and um, you can clean, cleaning up physically helps you clean up mentally, and it makes room for creativity and imagination. We have 24, the Holy Stone protection, looks like your angel. Maybe your guardian angel, but you definitely have protection here. Protection and, oh, okay. This might be that clara, like clairvoyance. It may be that seeing. Um, 35 crystal ball insight. I think that's about your perceptions and um, your abilities too. All right, tea leaves. Let's do tea leaves to close this out for Libra. <clears throat> wow <laughs> elephant a long journey either physical or mental will leave you wiser at the end that's maybe insight into your situation quill get back to the basics tankard celebration fun enjoyment Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Spear, heartache over what you no longer have. And unicorn, use, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Okay, that's what I got for you, Libra. Thanks, guys. Sending you light and love. Bye-bye.